So this week, we've seen a lot of interesting devices that have the new Snapdragon X platform in them. And here we have a nice collection of five of them from different OEMs. Uh, I'll start over here with the HP Omnibook. Uh, this is a white uh, Omnibook. This is a, the, the, the reference design that they're going to go with. Uh, what's interesting about this device and all of these devices, they're running Copilot Plus. So they've got this dedicated Copilot button. Um, and you know it's got two great USB Type-C ports here. You've got a headphone jack and an expandable uh, USB uh, full-size Type-A port on the side. Um, it's kind of like a convertible design. It's still very much clamshell, um, traditional. They also have this new uh, fangled AI uh, kind of design for, for designation of AI capabilities on HP notebooks. Um, and then it's got the fancy Snapdragon X Elite badge on it. So that's the uh, Omnibook. Um, this will be available June 18th, just like all of these will be. Um, and then we can move over to the Samsung. Uh, this is the, the big boy. Uh, it's a 16 inch. Uh, it's extremely thin, uh, has an OLED display. Uh, it uses the dynamic OLED uh, technology from Samsung. Also got the nice Snapdragon badge over here. Huge touchpad, like gigantic. Uh, still really thin. And you've got the uh, headphone jack, uh, you've got the USB port, um, and, and you also have a, a memory card reader. And on this side, you've got dual USB-C ports and a HDMI port. So you've got all the connectivity you would ever want and need, great battery life, beautiful display, also still very much a clamshell. Um, but you know this is definitely going to be for more of a power user because you also get a, a nice little uh, numpad. So you can be really productive with this one. Uh, and then this is the Surface laptop. This also Snapdragon X Elite design. Um, you've got your, your typical USB type A, headphone jack, two USB-C ports, uh, a, a decent sized touchpad for a 13 inch notebook. Uh, and you've got your, your Surface charging port, uh, which is the proprietary Microsoft port. Um, I have a feeling I'm gonna be getting uh, almost each of one of these devices to review. So uh, I'll, be, I'll get some more time with these and hopefully give you some feedback on how I think about it. But this is probably the most uh, generic looking laptop, but it's also the cleanest looking one. So um, this is, you know, the one that will probably uh, appeal to the most people. Um, and it's it's just like a nice solid laptop overall. Uh, then next to this one, we've got the Asus VivoBook, which is the only um, uh, one coming to market from Asus at this time. They do have the PZ13, which is coming later in the year. Um, that's with an Elite Plus. This is an Elite X design. Um, and as you can see, this is a 15 inch Good size touchpad, more numpad as well. Uh, we've got two USB ports on this side and uh, another two type C. They've actually labeled these with 40 gig uh, as well as HDMI memory card and headphone jack. Uh, all of these devices are really thin and light. Uh, I would say this one feels very much like an ASUS uh, in the sense that it has this kind of plastic sheen to it, uh, but it's still very light and thin. Uh, they do have other notebooks in the market that are better in terms of weight, um, but I would love to see them come out with a Zenbook uh, that kind of matches this. Uh, but this is the Vivo Book S, also available June 18th, just like the rest of these. And last but certainly not least is the Dell XPS 13. Um, this I think is the first one that I touched uh, at the Microsoft event. Uh, in Redmond. Uh, it's a XPS 13. It's got this really beautiful keyboard on it. Uh, it's super clean. Uh, no, no top row buttons are all capacitive. Uh, the touchpad is actually integrated into the palm rest. So you kind of just get this seamless feel across the device. Um, it's got two USB-C ports, one on each side. Uh, I actually think that's a great design choice because in a lot of cases, some of these devices, they only have USB-C ports on one side. You can only charge it on one side. So um, this is a very mature design from Dell. Uh, this is also going to be one of the ones that will have some of the best battery life. Um, but across the entire Snapdragon X Elite portfolio, uh, including the ones that are not pictured here, um, you're going to get great battery life and a really good AI experience with Copilot Plus. And they will all be available June 18th.